I was like, hey, maybe if I take the antenna from my workshop and just well, go through a door, pass another very thick wall and then place the antenna at the wall that's facing to the studio. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose one day, one step. In the right direction, I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Saturday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is how I finally solved my basement Wi-Fi problem. So let's get it. By the way, all the DIY projects right here, watch them all. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my love special and worth living to the max. So let me try to get back with this sweet, sweet video. So to recap, this is my office first floor. This is also called ground floor, okay? My office is in the ground floor and down in the basement, I have my studio and my workshop. And without Wi-Fi, without internet down there it's kind of boring when i go through hours of work which is kind of repetitive and it's not that enjoyable without youtube videos so the last years i was thinking about how to solve this problem and i finally solved the problem now in this vlog right here i tried to boost my wi-fi i bought this antenna this massive antenna this is another vlog and i put this antenna outside of my flat first of all i had it in repeater mode so the wi-fi from my router got picked up by the antenna and then I thought this would go through the floor. I tried to boost it with tin foil. This is what I did in the last vlog, but it really didn't work. First, I put the tin foil onto the antenna. Then this resulted in blocking the Wi-Fi from my router. So I bought this longer cable. This was, this saved me. This was key element, a key element and connected the router to the antenna. And this solved the blocked Wi-Fi problem, but it still did not penetrate through the ground floor because a ground floor needs to carry a lot of weight because you know, there is a building on top of it. The ground floor is thick, it's concrete, it's massive and Wi-Fi can't penetrate through this amount of concrete that easily. I managed to get a signal, but it wasn't enough to stream YouTube videos reliably, not even close. And mind you, when I got the antenna and then boosted the Wi-Fi, literally months were passing in between these vlogs. And after another few months, I had another epiphany. Don't ask me where this is is coming from it came back to my mind that my granddad gave me two dlan adapters and with these you can actually transmit internet signals through ground lines through electricity lines and just for fun i was like this is probably not going to work but i will just try it this is an apartment complex by the way so that's why i thought no chance but i took the dlan plugged it into one of my sockets in the office and then i went down to the workshop and then plugged it into a socket and i was shocked because it worked i was so amazed because now i was able to transmit internet from the ground floor down into the basement. There are caveats, of course, because there are certain electronic tools that can disturb the signal transfer because they will distort the sine wave. Well, the DLAN modulates the sine wave to transport the signal. And if another tool modulates the sine wave, then the signal will get lost basically. But it does work when there is no interfering signal. Then I was able to plug in my antenna down in the workshop and I had Wi-Fi in my workshop. I was able to watch YouTube videos. Oh my God, this, this was one of the best days of my life. But then there is yet another, well, there are another walls in between the workshop and the studio itself. And at first, we're Weirdly enough, the Wi-Fi was able to penetrate through the wall, but then if like a few days later, a few weeks later, I was seeing the signal on my phone, but I wasn't able to connect to it and I wasn't nowhere near able to stream videos. So in the end, I only solved half the problem, but then I had this another, I, this happened just a few weeks ago. I had yet another epiphany, actually a few days ago. I was like, hey, maybe if I take the antenna from my workshop and just, well, go through a door, pass another very thick wall and then place the antenna at the wall that's facing to the studio like the studio wall and then it also came to my mind that i had already bought this cable that i featured in the how to boost your wi-fi vlog i already had all the parts so i just had to take this cable connect it to the dlan the long cable and connect it to the antenna and now i'm able to take the freaking antenna take it from my workshop and then go over it's like five meters through this door and put it somewhere near well next to the wall and this finally solved my wi-fi problem now i have wi-fi in the workshop and also when I need it, when I train, I have Wi-Fi in the studio. There is a bit of work involved because every time I need to detach it and, you know, put it there and then there's a cable running along the floor and then I need to, you know, put it back in my workshop. But in the end, this is a working solution and <laughs> it's freaking awesome. This is how I solved the problem. And it's crazy because it took me such a long time, but these are super creative steps. Maybe not, maybe I'm just stupid. 
<laughs> but it's highly likely. But yeah, I did it. I freaking did it. In my next vlog, you can check it out right here. I will actually cover the how to get Wi-Fi through thick. <laughs> yeah, right. Through thick walls to your basement. This this will be actually basically this vlog recapped. So if you didn't get the point of how I did it, then you can also check out this other vlog. But yeah, all in all, I'm so proud of myself. I solved the freaking problem and now I have Wi-Fi in my office, down in the studio and also down in the workshop and I can watch YouTube videos all the time which also saves me a bit of time because when I get here first thing is usually I, w I go to my subscriptions and then watch all the freaking videos that are there and there are long eh, <laughs> there, are, there are a few pretty long live streams every day you know crypto live streams and now I can just you know put them in the watch later playlist and then when I do my workout basically like a podcast I can listen to it while working out but anyways so all in all it's super awesome and yeah, it's amazing. But that's enough for this one. Smash that like button the way I didn't have to smash the ground floor <laughs> because that was actually one of my plans to drill a hole through the ground floor. Yeah, thankfully that's not needed any longer. Bang the bell like clap, pop, never miss DIY projects and check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.